Hey there, Anthony Mitchivier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com with a quick exercise that you can do in your meditations that's really powerful and fun and I just had the idea now, I wanted to share it with you. Anyway, I got the idea because I was waiting for April, my beautiful fiance, running the camera here, and uh, we, uh, I was meditating on the bench after doing some fitness and, hey, by the way, subscribe to this channel for more information like this. Anyway, we were I was waiting for her to go to the grocery store while I was doing fitness, um, and then I was sitting and meditating, and I thought I will just keep my eyes closed until that she arrives. Now I don't need any special device to help me meditate because I've been doing it for a long time, uh, in even unbroken record right now uh, of over six months uh, or, or more. I have to like look at a calendar and count all the days. The thing is, is that the mind has something to do other than, you know, sitting and paying attention to breathing and uh, doing all this yada yada stuff. Um, it's just fun and useful. But uh, it's just waiting for the person to arrive and it has a task, which is to keep your eyes closed until they arrive. Now, you want to do this in an area that is safe, which I did in a park um, where people were, you know, playing and uh, with their kids and I don't think any terrorists were going to come or anything to worry about whatsoever. So the name of the game was just to sit, relax, chill out, and do nothing but wait until April arrived. And it was cool because I'd just never done it before. And then I could eventually hear the steps of a person. And I was like, is that April or isn't it? And it reminded me of something that I used to do in Sistema when I had personal training. Uh, Sistema is the Russian martial art, in case you don't know it. And uh, I used to be stood in, the, in a part of the room and uh, my instructor, uh, he would spin me around or whatever, and he'd ask me where north was, and then he would like move around, and I'd have to try and touch him without moving, or move one step and touch him, and yeah, 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 like all this kind of stuff. And it was super interesting uh, because of how it attunes the mind to be really, really focused. Anyway, then came these steps as I was meditating over there in the park, and uh, and it was her, and well scared her a little bit because she was very kind and didn't interrupt my meditation. Put the uh, beautiful shopping bag filled with memory boosting foods on the bench beside me and she waited calmly and patiently until that I went boo and then uh, we had a good laugh. Anyway, thought that that might be an interesting meditation exercise for you. All you need is a friend, a lover, someone you care about and who cares about you to take you to a park and then go to the grocery store and you sit on a bench with your eyes closed or open, but it's more fun when it's closed and you wait for them to return. And that is the name of the game. That's your goal, is to do nothing other than to wait for them to return. Now, here's the thing that you can do and it's something that I was also doing a little bit. I was cheating, which is that you can go into a memory palace and rehearse some things that you've learned. And, uh, that's optional exercise. But anyway, cool little meditation exercise for you. I hope that you uh, give it a try, both versions, just sitting and waiting for the person to return and just thinking about their return, maybe imagining their proximity. And then when you hear the footsteps coming, uh, just waiting until that you can scare them by going boo. And then the other option is to, as you're waiting, go through memory palaces that you've created and rehearse information that you've memorized so that you get it deeper and deeper into long-term memory and just get memory exercise as such because you're constantly building and developing your memory just by using it. Just using your memory is so healthy and beneficial and wonderful. I wish more people would do it on a daily basis. But that's why I'm here, to help inspire you to do it, help inform you how to do it, and you can get all that information, free video course, etc. at magneticmemorymethod.com and then of course subscribe to this channel, click the like button, share, all that stuff. And uh, until we speak again, keep yourself magnetic.